Just make sure before you date again, you become the best version of yourself. That way you will attract the person that is meant to be. Being in love is an extraordinary feeling. However, there is the other side of being in love and it's the complete opposite. That side is the breakup, it's the betrayal, the heartbreak. It's a time when you're overthinking everything and let me not leave out the loneliness. I'm sure you know exactly what I'm referring to. And although I hope you never have to experience these growing pains, the truth is most of us will. With that being said, curatively, let's let the music speak to us about the other side of being in love. There is a song that can relate to just about any situation that we may be going through. So for this curated flicks, let's focus in on the different aspects surrounding a breakup. Now before the actual breakup occurs, it's like deep down you know things aren't the same but you are trying everything to salvage a relationship. And this is why I'm sure at some point we all could relate to Usher when he said, Girl, I understand why. See, it's burning me to hold on to this. I know this is something that I gotta do, but that don't mean I want to. What I'm trying to say is that I love you. I just feel like this is coming to an end and it's better for me to let it go now than to hold on and hurt you. I've gotta let it burn. It's gonna burn for me to say this, but it's coming from my heart. It's been a long time coming, but would have been fell apart. Really wanna work this out, but I don't think you're gonna change. I do, but you don't think it's best we go our separate ways. Tell me why I should stay in this relationship when I'm hurting, baby. I ain't happy, baby. Plus, there's so many other things I gotta deal with. I think that you should let it burn. When your feeling ain't the same and your body don't want to, but you know, gotta let it go because the party ain't jumping like it used to. Even though this might bruise you, let it burn. Deep down, you know it's best for yourself, but you hate the thought of her being with someone else, but you know that it's over, you know that it's through, let it burn. When you give your heart to someone, you just don't want it to end. You would rather have them in your life, which makes sense. And while someone is taking the initiative to break away from the relationship, the other is usually trying not to let them go. And Monica explained this best by saying, here we are face to face with the memories that can't be erased. Although we need each other, things have changed. It's not the same. Sometimes it makes me wonder, where would I be if you hadn't discovered, reaching deep inside of me? I know there was something that we could compare. Well, I never meant to cause you no pain. I just want to go back to being the same. And I only want to make things right before you walk out of my life. Remembering the good times from a portrait hung on high. It's filled with so much color and the laughter we left behind. I made the choice when you couldn't decide. I made the choice. I was wrong. You were right. Deep down inside, I apologize. When you are deeply in love with someone, you should fight for your relationship. I truly believe so. But here's the thing. If we want someone to stay in our life, it's best to become proactive. Because once you get to the point where you're always being reactive, you'll begin to sound like Tank when he said, Please don't go. She found all the numbers I had in my car. She caught all the ones I had marked with the star. I'm racing over to plead my case. She saw it was me and slammed the door in my face. Fellas, tell me why. How come we always doing wrong? How come we can't keep it home? How come it always ends like this even though we know that? It ain't worth telling a lie. It ain't worth seeing you cry. It ain't worth, that's why I'm right here begging you please don't go because it ain't worth killing a home. It ain't worth being alone. It ain't worth, that's why I'm right here begging you, please don't go. When going through a breakup, we become real creative. And in the last attempt to save the relationship, we try and agree to just be friends. Now we know most of the time, this is just a slick way to stay in each other's life. However, we all know that it's hard to just be friends with someone we used to be intimately involved with. But you don't have to take my words about this because RL and Deborah really broke this concept down and these were their exact words. To just act like we never were. To come around and not show hurt. How dare we greet by shaking hands? Just months ago, I was your man. Verbally, we'd agreed it was over and we were through. I'm trying to compose myself, but I just can't get over you, girl. We can't be friends because I'm still in love with you. I went by mother's, saw your car there. To her, you're still family, and it don't seem fair. For everyone to just go on, I've tried and I can't do it because I'm still torn. 
I tried to think of you as just another love in my past that didn't last, but it's not that simple. Baby, we can't be friends. You may see me staring or catch me in a daze. You may see me hang my head when you come my way. Don't get too close to me and expect me to behave. I might just steal a kiss if you come near my face. What I'm trying to say is that we can't be friends. This is normally when you finally start to realize that the breakup is real. This is also when you start to feel the pain from it. And this is why I can never forget these words from Tony Braxton. If I never feel you in my arms again, if I never feel your tender kiss again, if I never hear I love you now and then, will I never make love to you once again? Please understand, if love ends, then I promise you, I promise you that I shall never breathe again. Now we all know what happens when you stop breathing, it's a wrap. Just imagine being so deeply in love with someone that the fear of not having them in your life anymore literally takes your breath away. So yes, even though a breakup is very emotional, it can also have an effect on us physically as well. I mean, just imagine being so heartbroken that you feel as though you can't even walk. Remember when Boys to Men said, Darling I, I can't explain. Where did we lose our way? Girl, it's driving me insane. And I know I just need one more chance to prove my love to you. And if you come back to me, I'll guarantee that I'll never let you go. Isn't it funny how once someone is no longer in your life, you all of a sudden become the person you should have been while you had them? Okay, my bad. Let me keep going. Our brothers then went on to say, can we go back to the days our love was strong? Can you tell me how a perfect love goes wrong? Can somebody tell me how to get things back the way they used to be? Oh God, give me a reason. I'm down on bended knee. Now here's the crux of the chorus. They say, I'll never walk again until you come back to me. I'm down on bended knee. They then go on to say, baby, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for all the wrong I've done. Please come back home, girl. I know you put all your trust in me. I'm sorry I let you down. Please forgive me. I'm gonna swallow my pride, say I'm sorry. Stop pointing fingers, the blame is on me. I want a new life and I want it with you. If you feel the same, don't ever let it go. You gotta believe in the spirit of love. It'll heal all things, it won't hurt anymore. No, I don't believe our love's terminal. I'm down on my knees, begging you please, come home. So Tony couldn't breathe, and while boys to men would never walk again, our good sister Aaliyah was trying to figure out, how could the one I gave my heart to break my heart so bad? How could the one who made me happy make me feel so sad? Won't somebody tell me so I can understand? If you love me, how could you hurt me like that? How could the one I gave my world to throw my world away? How could the one who said I love you say the things you say? How could the one I was so true to just tell me lies? How could the one I gave my heart to break this heart of mine? Tell me, how could you be so cold to me when I gave you everything? All my love, all I had inside. How could you just walk out the door how could you not love me anymore? I thought we had forever. I can't understand. How could the one I shared my dreams with take my dreams from me? How could the love that brought such pleasure bring such misery? This is the time during the breakup where you start to question everything. The loneliness starts to settle in and you really begin to feel the effects of having your heart broken. Brandy and Wanye spoke to this specific pain when they said, I'm young, but I'm wise enough to know that you don't fall in love overnight. That's why I thought if I took my time that everything in love would be right. But as soon as I closed my eyes, I was saying to love goodbye. But I guess I'm lonely, broken hearted. Life's not over. I can start again. While I'm lonely, broken hearted, it's a hurting thing to get over. No more empty conversations. Next time I will be totally sure don't want the pain of falling in and out of love. It's more than my poor heart should endure. So I listen to all the advice and I remember each time I cry. And we all know that a broken heart can lead to a lot of crying. I mean, it's okay if you don't want to admit to this. Just know that we are all human and feelings are natural. But have you ever felt like you literally had nothing left in you from a relationship? Because this is exactly how Allure and 112 felt. Listen to these words. All alone on a Sunday morning, outside I see the rain is falling. 
Inside I'm slowly dying, but the rain will hide my crying. And you, don't you know my tears will burn the pillow? Set this place on fire because I'm tired of your lie. All I needed was a simple hello, but the traffic was so noisy that you could not hear me cry. I gave you my love in vain. My body never knew such pleasure. My heart never knew such pain. And you leave me so confused. Now I'm all cried out over you. Never wanted to see things your way. I had to go astray, for why was I such a fool? Now I see the grass is greener. Is it too late for me to find my way home? How could I be so wrong, leaving me all alone? Don't you know my tears will cause an inferno? Romance of the flames, why should I take the blame? You are the one who left me neglected. Apology not accepted. Add me to the broken hearts you've collected. I gave you all of me. How was I to know you would weaken so easily? I don't know what to do. Now I'm all cried out over you. You know, when going through a breakup, it's very common to ask the question of why does being in love have its difficult moments? Why does it hurt sometimes? Yes, these are questions that need to be answered. And this is why so many people felt Lauren Hill when she said, it could all be so simple, but you'd rather make it hard. Loving you is like a battle and we both end up with scars. Tell me who I have to be to get some reciprocity. No one loves you more than me and no one ever will. Is this just a silly game that forces you to act this way? Forces you to scream my name? Then you pretend that you can't stay? She then goes on to say, no matter how I think we grow, you always seem to let me know it ain't working. And when I try to walk away, you'd hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. One of the hardest things to go through during a breakup is accepting the fact that you may be losing someone you really care about. And this is even worse if you start to feel that the other person may be moving on. Trey Songs broke this down to us by saying, Oh, how I yearn for your touch. I'm so lonely now that you left me. If I could run away, you know I would. And I'm hurting because, girl, I never loved you like I should. When your love is lost, your whole world's thrown off. When the one you need don't need you. What do you do when love is lost? He then goes on to say, and now I see the man you need. When I look into the mirror, I see change and I close my eyes and wish you could see the same, but it's too late. Once it really hits that it's over, there's a phase to where you miss so much about the person you were once in a relationship with. It seems as if everything reminds you of them. Even though you're trying to get over the relationship, they are constantly on your mind. Here are some deep words from Case. Standing here looking out my window. My nights are long and my days are cold because I don't have you. How can I be so demanding? I know you said that it's over now, but I can't let go. Every day I want to pick up the phone and tell you that you're everything I need and more. If only I could find you. Like a cold summer afternoon, like the snow coming down in June, like a wedding without a groom, I'm missing you. I'm the desert without the sand. You're the woman without a man. I'm a ring without a hand. I'm missing you. The process of being with someone is interesting. From a burning desire telling you to leave a relationship to not wanting your other half to leave, begging them not to go, trying to be friends but it doesn't work so you feel as though you can't breathe nor walk, wondering how could someone you love leave you broken hearted and all cried out, realizing these are all factors that come with having the next, along with the feeling of loving someone deeply and having that love lost while extremely missing them, kind of makes you feel as though you can create an entire show based on your relationship. And I'm sure Rihanna would agree. This is why she said, how about a round of applause? Standing ovation. You look so dumb right now. Standing outside my house, trying to apologize. You're so ugly when you cry. Please just cut it out. Don't tell me you're sorry because you're not. Baby, when I know you're only sorry you got caught. But you put on quite a show, really had me going. But now it's time to go. Curtains finally closing. That was quite a show. Very entertaining, but it's over now. Go on and take a bow. Grab your clothes and get going. You better hurry up before the sprinklers come on. Talking about, girl, I love you, you're the one. This just sounds like a rerun. Please, what else is on? She then goes on to say, 
and the award for the best liar goes to you for making me believe that you could be faithful to me. Let's hear your speech. It's understood that a breakup can be difficult. However, it's not the end of the world. Just make sure before you date again, you become the best version of yourself. That way you will attract the person that is meant to be in your life. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel, share this video, click the bell so that you are notified when new content comes out. Thanks.